doesn't have to be like this. In the year 2000, poverty and income inequality claimed nearly 300,000 lives in the United States. Yes, in the United States in one year. Add to that number, 162,000 deaths related to low social support, 176,000 deaths related to racial segregation, 245,000 deaths related to poor education. Bad drinking water, sanitation, and hygiene killed 842,000 people around the world in 2012. These numbers, they're not data. They're not math. They're not statistics. They're people who have been failed by outdated, inadequate, unsuccessful approaches to health. It really doesn't have to be this way. At the Boston University School of Public Health, we are leading the effort to improve public health here in the neighborhood and around the world, now and into the future. In 1976, we started with five programs. Today, our 6,500 plus alumni, 250 faculty, 250 staff, and 1,000 students from 50 countries are out in the world working to turn those numbers around. Here in Boston, we have under our roof some of the world's leading public health researchers, researchers who are investigating new ways to break through. We are generating ideas to solve crucial public health challenges, teaching those ideas to the next generation, communicating those ideas to the change makers who can make them happen on a global scale. We are leveraging the networks, brain power, and resources we have built over four decades to make progress, to deliver impact, to change the way we live and work. We developed the research base for drunk driving regulations adopted nationwide that have saved tens of thousands of lives. We lay the intellectual foundation for bioethics and patients' rights in America and around the world. We demonstrated the impact of community-based antibiotic therapy for childhood pneumonia in resource-poor settings, generating a major change in World Health Organization guidelines. So you see, it doesn't have to be this way. But no one person or organization or institution can do it alone. But if we join forces, we can change what needs to be changed someday. Of course, someday doesn't just happen. At the Boston University School of Public Health, we have the people, the dedication, and the knowledge. We have the network, the resources, and the passion. In other words, we have what it takes to take this on together.